Today, I'm going to show you how to register for classes using College Scheduler. To log into College Scheduler, click on the Login button on the top right of your screen and click My CCRI. Click My CCRI under the single sign in login and enter your credentials. You should see this screen. Click on the Registration tab here and you will see Create My Perfect Schedule. Next, you'll be asked to select the term and then click Save and Continue. And you'll see a list of sessions. You can select all sessions unless you have been told that the classes you need to register for have a unique start or finish date. Then you can find that list in here using the dates listed at the end of the session. Click Save. And you should see the main page for College Scheduler. Here you can confirm that you are in the correct term. If you need to change it, you can click here. And the first thing we're going to do is add your courses. You'll be given a list of courses by your advisor, and you can start adding them here. So select the subject, and the course number, and click Add Course. Then your list of courses will appear over here. You can also search for a class by instructor by selecting a specific instructor and seeing the courses they teach or by the CRN number if that's already been provided for you. Once you've completed adding all your courses, click Done, and you'll see all your courses listed over here on the left. Next, we will add your breaks. Breaks can be any time that you cannot take classes, so uh, if you have to accommodate for childcare, if you have work, if you need to factor in uh, extra driving time, you can create a break. So you can name that whatever you'd like, and then choose the start and end time, and whatever days of the week that it pertains to. You can add as many breaks as you'd like and they will all appear here. Next, scroll down and click Generate Schedules. As you can see, there are over a thousand schedules generated, but we are going to narrow some of them down. So click View, and here you can see our first schedule. Here you can see the list of courses that we added to our college scheduler. And here we can see the meeting times. Notice remote asynchronous learning classes do not have any meeting times, but remote synchronous learning classes do. So this English class will meet Wednesday uh, from 1 p.m. till 3.30 remotely. Down here we can see the weeks that the classes start. So if I go to week one, you can see that most of the classes start in August, except for this English class which starts in September. Scrolling down, we can see our work schedule and then this English class that does have the meeting time. As we go through, we can find classes that we like. So if this English class really works for my schedule, I can click this lock. Every time I lock a course, I am selecting it at a section level. So now this class would be registered for English 1010 and then this 001 section. You can do it again if this general psychology class works. We'll lock this. And you'll notice that we go from a list of over 1,000 to 748 classes. I know that sounds like a lot, but the next class we'll lock will make that an even shorter list and shorter until we figure out what works for you. We can shuffle and then go through some other scheduling options. Uh, as you go through, you can see if they have meeting times, if they don't have meeting times, and if they work for your schedule. We can lock this math class, and you'll notice now I only have 34 options. As soon as I find a schedule that works for me, I can favorite it by clicking the heart, and I can favorite multiple schedules. When I favorite a schedule, and I decide to log out of College Scheduler, I can come back to this main page and click on Favorite and View. It will bring me back to my favorite schedule. If you have any questions about your schedule and you want to run it by your coach or your professor or your boss, you can click email and then you can email it to anyone that you'd like. If you prefer to have a printed copy of this schedule, you can click print. Once you have a schedule that works for you, click send to shopping cart and you'll be brought to your shopping cart. If you want to go back to plan your schedule, you can click right up here. 
In your shopping cart, you can see all the classes that we locked, and we can also see the schedule down here. When you are ready, you can click register, or you can edit your cart and remove certain classes. Once you click register, click continue, and you can see which classes you registered for. If you have any errors, you can see them down here and the reason why you cannot register for those classes. To learn more about why you cannot register for a class, you can reach out to your advisor or you can email advising at ccri.edu. Once you'll register, you are brought to your current schedule. You can go back to the shopping cart or plan your schedule at any time. Here you can see the classes that you are enrolled for. If you scroll down, you'll notice this class is asynchronous, but classes that have meeting times will appear on this schedule. From here, you can go back to plan schedule and choose other classes that work for you, or you can click sign out whenever you are done. Thank you and have a great semester.